The world is filled with millions of species of animals. Some of them are quite harmless, quietly living their lives while some of them are just downright dangerous and sometimes very aggressive. Today we're going to be looking at 10 of the most dangerous animals that you should honestly run away from. Make sure you stay tuned and stay away from number 1. The number of fatalities these animals cause is simply staggering. Number 10. Sharks. Okay, so technically you can't run away from this thing, but hey, you could swim pretty fast, I suppose. It's up to you, really. We're not talking about an individual species of shark here, though. We're lumping the entire family in as a whole. Movies and media are often spreading the picture of sharks as being ferocious killers that eat and destroy everything that comes in their way. But it's quite exaggerated that many shark species are harmless to humans. Except for some, like the tiger shark. You see, each year there are around 75 shark attacks, whereas most arise from a misunderstanding that a surfer looks similar to seals. However, only 10 out of these attacks result in the death of the victim. With that said, of course, sharks, especially the great white and bull sharks and tiger sharks, are incredibly powerful predators that should always be respected. However, for at least 2 out of 3 of them, they don't really see humans as food. I'll give you a guess who does see you as food. So if you're scared of sharks, don't think of them as monsters killing thousands of people each year because that is simply not true. Although that really shouldn't encourage you to go and pet one. Number 9. Ants. It's quite counterintuitive to think that ants are more dangerous animals than sharks, but the fact is that they are. In fact, ants are about three times as deadly as sharks. Where sharks cause the average of 10 fatalities yearly, ants cause about 30 every year. One particular species to take note of is the bulldog ant. This red, angry-looking variety of ant is one of the largest and most aggressive species of ants on the planet. They have large mandibles and venomous stings that in humans can cause intense pain, the worst of any insect sting that can last for several days. They're so aggressive that whenever this ant is cut in half, the head and tail will actually fight and try to kill each other. I suppose that gives new meaning to the I'll kick anyone's butt, even my own. Another ant worth mentioning is the bullet ant. They are known to have one of the most painful stings. It's found in South America and is also known as the 24-hour ant because of the pain you feel for up to 24 hours after being stung. Some victims even describe being stung by this ant as painful as being shot with a bullet, hence the name. Number 8. Bees and wasps. You shouldn't go near them. Next number. Number... What? Fine. In truth, bees and wasps should have landed higher on our list of the most dangerous animals in the world. The problem is, nobody in the world is actively keeping track of fatalities attributed to them. In the US alone, 50 people per year succumb to bee and wasp attacks. For all we know, that number could balloon to 500 if we include worldwide attacks. Case in point is the Japanese giant hornet. Every year, up to 40 deaths are recorded by the sting of Japanese hornets. The venom of Japanese hornets would cause an allergic reaction and dissolve tissues within the shortest time. The repeated singing from the group of hornets could also result in a very, very painful death. Japanese hornets are very aggressive and they're fearless. One hornet alone is more than capable of dispatching 40 individual bees by all its lonesome. However, guess what? These guys rarely operate alone. Each colony of Japanese hornets contains up to 700 members and they feed on honeybee larvae to a significant amount. Yeah, that's right. These things eat bees, the other thing that could sting you. They eat it for breakfast. Number 7. Deer. Okay, seriously, follow me on this one, please. You wouldn't think it, but deer are actually pretty dangerous creatures. Oh, what's that you don't believe me? Well, guess what? The yearly worldwide average of deer-related fatalities is at least 300 people. <laughs> I guess you won't look at Bambi the same anymore. But how come these normally docile and adorable creatures be the cause of so many deaths? Well, deer have horns. And you might think that this would be the main cause of human fatalities. But no, that's very wrong. Yes, admittedly, there have been recorded cases of fatal deer horn impalement, but that's very rare and far in between. In fact, the latest one being a man in Arkansas who was gored to death by a deer he shot and thought it was already dead only in October of this year. With that said, the vast majority of deer-related fatalities happen when deer cross the road, usually at dusk or at dawn. Couple that with a sleepy driver, then we have a definite recipe for disaster. In the US alone, over 150 cases are reported each year of people running over deer on the highway, with very tragic results. Number 6. Elephants. 
Okay, yeah, this one makes a bit more sense. Again, much like deer, elephants would be the last animals you would think could be dangerous to humans because generally they're viewed as big, dopey little animals. When you think of an elephant, you probably think of them as kind, gigantic, intelligent, majestic creatures who never forget. Well, the thing is, because they're so large and so smart, they pose more of a danger to us than you would think. Elephants will attack if they are injured, or if they feel threatened, or peck if they just feel like it. That one scene from Dumbo where Dumbo's mother protects him from those kids is really inaccurate. There should be a lot more bloodshed and body parts. And because they're so big, if they do decide to attack, most of the time the results will be fatal. While doing research for this video, I myself was quite surprised to find out that over 500 fatalities are caused by raging elephant attacks every year. Most of these incidents are caused by elephant bulls who were cast out of the herd, making them all sorts of crazy. Or, you know, by overprotective mothers with calves. I guess that one's a little more understandable. In one instance, a 44-year-old man working as an elephant keeper was attacked by a cow elephant when he tripped over a foot chain while the animal was being medically treated. This poor man fell down and was consequently repeatedly attacked with elephant tusks. The man sustained multiple stab injuries to both groin regions, a penetrating injury to the abdominal wall with traumatic prolapse of the loops of the small bowel, multiple defects of the mesentery, and incomplete laceration of the abdominal aorta with...